Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So some good news coming out of the heavyweight division. The rematch between Alexander Povetkin and Dillian White has been officially scheduled for March the 6th. It will take place in the UK and that fight has now been officially confirmed. In the UK, this fight is going to be on Sky Sports Box Office, and I presume in the States, it shall be on The Zone USA. Um, I have to say, I am thoroughly looking forward to this rematch. First and foremost, the first fight was pretty good, and that obviously ended in a knockout of a year contender, a bit of an upset at the time, and this rematch really does have high stakes. Alexander Povetkin, 41 years old, if he were to lose this fight, He's basically done at the top level. If he were to lose this, he's not going to get another title shot again. And as for Dillian White, if he gets knocked out by Povetkin again, or even just loses again, Dillian White would have a long way to come back from, to be honest with you. Especially losing to this version of Alexander Povetkin. You know, a win for both guys is paramount and could severely affect their future careers in the sport of boxing. As far as I'm concerned, this one really is a high-stakes affair, and I'm looking forward to it. Can Dillian White respond and recover from that August knockout loss, and can he rebound with a win? Is there any lasting damage there? Is that punch resistance still the same? A lot of question marks in regards to Dillian White going into this rematch, and, you know, can Alexander Povetkin repeat what he did back in August? You know, Povetkin is 41 years old. In the last few years, he's clearly been slowing down as a fighter. Plus, he's been out of action with the Big C, of course, as well. So, you know, Povetkin himself has a lot of question marks to answer going into this fight in regards to his standing in the sport currently. So, you know, when you match these guys up for a rematch, I think it's going to be very interesting indeed. And, you know, I cannot wait for it. I fully expect another fight with fireworks, and I expect to see somebody get knocked out. My initial thoughts are, without being short on who I believe is going to win, I would be shocked if this fight goes the distance. I'm pretty sure somebody gets knocked out in this fight, you know? So there's that to look forward to. Should be a really intriguing matchup, and yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to it. There's a couple of fights on the undercard that have also been announced. So you've got Ted Cheeseman fighting James Metcalf for the vacant British Super Welterweight title. That in itself is a really, really good fight. I actually make James Metcalf a slight favourite in that particular fight. But that fight itself is a perfectly good undercard fight for a pay-per-view. I fully expect that to be a bit of a war. You've also got um, the heavyweight prospect Fabio Wardley, who of course is managed by Dillian White. He is going to be fighting heavyweight journeyman Eric Molina. Eric Molina, of course, seen better days, passed his best. But for a guy of Fabio Wardley's experience level, I actually believe Eric Molina is a pretty solid opponent at this stage of his career. Bear in mind, Fabio Wardley has had 10 pro fights, no amateur fights. So, Eric Molina in his 11th fight, more than acceptable. And yeah, I'm sure we're going to get more news in, in regards to the undercard in the coming days. Quite frankly, I would like to see one more big fight on the undercard, to be honest. Maybe a world title fight, something like that. If they can get that sorted, I think this could actually be a pretty good card in general for Sky Sports Box Office. And also, you've got the uh, debut of Campbell Hatton, the son of Ricky Hatton. Now, I've got no idea what Campbell Hatton achieved in the amateurs, so I'm not really sure what to expect from him. So I guess that'll be interesting seeing his pro debut and seeing how he looks, what his style is, etc, etc. But yeah, Dillian White, Alexander Povetkin, the rematch has been scheduled. March the 6th, Sky Box Office should be very intriguing. Share your thoughts below. Who are you picking? Who, you, who are you initially picking anyway? And yeah, um, comment below. Beanie Guy Delboy, peace.